That's Ethan Klein. Oh my god, Jackie wrote so much bullshit. She was BTFO'd. Let's read the original. I think someone yelled at her. I want the full context of this. This is also something that came in last second. I was like, hmm. It's a lot of text. We want to read it. Do I have the mental capacity to read all this text? You know how I am. Um. Oh, okay. So this all comes back to tour swats. If you don't remember, um, for whatever reason, Jackie Singh was completely and totally convinced that the um, tour swats guy was like a Kiwi farmer from like Norway or some shit. Like just completely convinced of this and kept spamming about it. How she was the greatest doctor the world had ever seen. The greatest white hack hacker that the world has ever been blessed with. And um, she went on and on about this and obviously is wrong because the DOJ is pressing charges against two people. So this guy's making fun of her for being a retarded curry piglet. She's big mad and she decides to reply to this. Jackie Singh uh, says... Major Tor Swats update. Don't miss the end. This is crazy and I'm tired. I would like to share added details with the public in the interest of ensuring justice is appropriately served in the Tor Swats case. A Washington-based state licensed and private, and private investigator named Brad Dennis submitted evidence to law enforcement, which, according to Wire, led to an indictment against 17-year-old Alan Fillion. However, this same PI, a fully unsolicited evidentiary resource for the Seminole County Sheriff's Office and Seminole County Prosecutor, is in fact an associate of several swatting suspects connect connected to this case, as evidenced by his public banter and humorous interactions with their clearly labeled stalker accounts. Okay, so Jackie's cope... <laughs> Jackie's cope about being wrong about the fucking tour swat stuff is that she's literally going to say that the private detective who submitted some evidence into this case also is a member of the, the cyber criminal uh, troll terrorist organization that is making fun of her on the internet. Uh, so therefore, the tour swats guy should just be let go. <laughs> so she stays right. These usernames and names often contain the word stealthy as a way to mock their victim, whose own username contains this same word. Nobody involved in private detective industry is going to accidentally or incidentally use the word stealthy just by pure fucking coincidence. It's always. The word stealthy was a genius science fiction term and created by the Stealthy Geek and is a trademark of Stealthy Geek Productions. Um, this is a way for them to signal affiliation in the stalking group and to both the victim and each other while others remain unaware of their purpose. Some of these interactions occurred way back in January when news, uh, news of Suspect One's arrest had been published by Wired. During that same time, press, private investigator Brad Dennis publicly engaged with numerous criminal suspects on X. In fact... Interactions between those individuals are ongoing to this day. Brad Dennis is again attacking me from behind a block and again without cause. I mean, you're a fat, retarded curry piglet. Is that possibly a cause why he's making fun of you? The fact that you got everything completely fucking wrong? If I was a private investigator and some fat curry piglet was uh, saying dumb shit I could easily disprove, I would also make fun of her, but that's just me. I am kind of mean. The man is actively using my name to specifically denigrate me in public in an open humorous, quote-unquote humorous, because that's not funny if she doesn't find it funny. It's humorous to other people, but not her, so therefore it's in quotes. Humorous discussion with known criminal associates with this case for more than six months after Suspect 1 was taken into custody and ind indicted. Why? Exhibit A. Examine. The image below, in which the PI who furnished evidence to the police, plus the swatting victim's known stalkers, are seen laughing together with specific mention of my name. Exhibit B. Law enforcement named me in the indictment. At Wired broke the news. Continued. Um, so her complaint is that people are making fun of her for being wrong and stupid. It gets worse. 
Despite the fact that they leveraged some of the evidence I personally developed and published to help make their case, Seminole SO outright defamed me within within the main indictment by labeling me a blogger and self-styled security researcher. Oh no! Jackie's being cyberbullied by the Seminole County um, Sheriff's Office. <laughs> oh no! She's being she's being she's being criminally stalked by the the police station. At no point during their investigation or prosecution of this case have they attempted to contact me in any way or collect my statement or evidence. Why the fuck would they? You're a retard. You got everything wrong. You you jeopardized the case by being such a stupid bitch. <laughs> Why the fuck would they ever want to talk to you? They would like to forget that you exist. <laughs> Instead, they took the word and findings of a person who has no searchable reputation over mine, which was built over two decades through my own hard work and labor, and who is now talking smack about me with his criminal buddies. It isn't clear from the indictment what evidence Brad Dennis provided to law enforcement and how much of their case is built off his work. I hope not much. Not to belabor this point, but I'm a well-certified senior career information security professional with a very capable resume. Fucking seething. Dude, this is like this is like a, a dagger to the heart for a Pajit. Like Pajits are like obsessed with like this professional reputation where they're like LinkedIn slave golem. By the way, we have a LinkedIn account. If you want to go to LinkedIn.com slash company slash Kiwi Farms, you can follow my Kiwi Farms LinkedIn page. But they're like like so like desperate to get like on Wikipedia and have like the, the portfolio website and have the LinkedIn page with eight trillion recommendations from other Jeets who they just swap recommendations with. And, like, when you say that she's just a, a blogger and self-styled security researcher, that might that's might as well be, like, sacrilege to them. That's like pissing on the grave of Jesus Christ to a Christian, okay? Like, say, <laughs> saying that, um, I guess Jesus doesn't have a grave. That's the entire point, right? I don't know. Did, did Mary also ascended to heaven without death, right? Isn't that, like, a Catholic thing? Well, only the Catholics believe that. So I guess you could theoretically piss on Mary's grave if you wanted to piss off the non-Catholics. The Catholics wouldn't believe you though. But yeah, I'm trying to. What I'm trying to say is that offending a Pajit's professional reputation is like their their um, Achilles' heel. It really it really upsets them, chat. Um. Oh, they. <laughs> <laughs> she actually links her hacking butts LinkedIn page. That is funny. I am operationally qualified on the relevant topic of open source intelligence and tens of others. I have established and managed security operation centers, SOCs, in case you can fucking make that an acronym yourself, with large and small businesses. I have led security teams. I have assessed many Fortune 500 organizations on their information security readiness and advised them on how to move forward. Um, did you do that with your consent? Because, you know, that's a fucking thing that people do, by the way. You'll get emails from Jeets like, Hello, my good sir. I hope you are having a good day today. I am an independent security white hat hack, white hat hacking researcher, and I have discovered numerous security vulnerabilities on your website, kiwifarms.net. I come at a reasonable price of 500 US dollars an hour, and I would be happy to assist you in patching your security flaws. And then, like, that's what how they, like, try to, like, like stifle fucking cash out of uh, small businesses. It's, like, a very common uh, scheme that they do. Um... Anyways, sorry. Oh, <laughs> I get distracted. Um, yeah, it's like a fucking scam. And I'm sure that she did not ask, like, hey, do you want to hire me to do this? I'm sure she just did it and like, hello, my bitch at YouTube. I have found a big security flaw. If you would like to hire me for the low, low price of $20,000, I will fix it for you. Um, I have taken and delivered countless trainings in the field of cybersecurity, such as network forensics, a particular specialty of mine from way back. That's just her way of saying I, I try to dox people, and I dox people in IRC when I was a part of the Gay Nigger Association of America. 
or sorry, let me be clear because the gay niggers got really upset at me when I said that. She was like a wannabe dingleberry fangirl of the GNAA. And they never actually let her in. She just kind of hung out in the public IRC and made a fool of herself and debased herself at their feet. My Indian accent's getting very good. Dude, I'm, I'm practiced. I put in the work in these streams, okay? I, I put in the work. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta. Uh, I train my racism like a Muslim pumping irons over here. I got fifty kilogram weights. Like mm, 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 mm. next time in the Olympics, next time in Athens. I developed original research while researching these crimes. I was invited to deliver a keynote speech at the important security conference at an important security conference, so unnamed, uh, last October, in which I presented my initial findings to a packed house. The link to my slides are in the description. I was able to verify that Brad Dennis first obtained his Washington State PI license in 2022. Meanwhile, dude, this entire thing is just seething. Like, why aren't you respecting me? I'm so respectable. Why are you treating me like this? It's not fair. Meanwhile, I have maintained a professional level CISSP certification while continuing educational requirements since 2009. Well, you've still been continuing education since 2009? You should be the master by now. You should be like a fucking Jedi master when it comes to security. But yet you have but yet you're just randomly pen testing Fortune 500 countries companies and telling them when a form returns an error unexpectedly. Bottom line, I am qualified to assist law enforcement with digital security matters and have a well-established history of doing so. I am not a self-styled researcher. Um, unfortunately, Jackie is not qualified to be a parent to her own daughters because she's lost custody of her children. So she should, instead of trying to get these CIS certifications and pen testing companies that don't want to hire her, maybe she should invest a little bit into parenting class and maybe paying up her child support money so she can get out of debt. <laughs> you think that's on the table? You think she can get her parenting license? <laughs> Is that that's probably too much for her though. I don't think I don't think that's that's not that's not in my field. I'm not interested in that kind of certification. Brad Dennis, however, is clearly a self-styled private... He's literally a self-styled private... Like, he's literally a private investigator. He has a fucking license to private investigate. With no overarching corporate employment and no public history or ever having had any. Therefore, why haven't I been contacted despite my active public research into this criminal ring? Because you suck. You suck ass, you suck dick, you suck curry off the fucking floor. You just suck. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to tell you. Uh, isn't it really embarrassing, Jackie? Isn't it just really terrible for you that you got completely and totally outdone by this random guy who became a private investigator like a year ago? Isn't that really sad that you've been doing this your entire life and you've accomplished nothing, but this random fucking guy can do your job better than you, with just not even trying, just like doing it as a side gig, like like a DoorDash driver would do, just like casually taking up PI, completely fucking smashes your head into the floor just instantly. That's really embarrassing. Jackie, damn. I, I would feel really, if I was you, I would feel really bad. Like, imagine if someone came along and started a Kiwi Farms that just like tripled my numbers in like a year. That would be fucking humiliating. I just have to leave. <laughs> I just have to give it up at that point. Um, is it in my, is it because my resume means nothing? Oh my god, she's gonna go for racism! Yes! Is it because my resume means nothing in the face of a white guy with two whole years of experience? Or is it because Brad Dimas besmirched my reputation to law enforcement by lying to them about his own research into me? Well, I mean, you don't have to be a private investigator to look into you and find out that you're a retard. Um, this is... Oh my god. I'm assuming that this is after. This is like three. Despite me being a surprise named in this ridic ridiculously hairy criminal indictment as a named target of the swatter creep alongside imp IMPT? Import oh, important FBI agents. Just write important. What the fuck? You don't have a character limit. 
and educational institutions, despite this threat having been made of my life, of which I was unaware, despite the fact that my evidence was used to help make a case against sus sus suspect one in the same document, in which I am very clearly denigrated as a self-styled researcher, despite all that, Seminole Sheriff's Office did not bother to notify me of my inclusion to the indictment in any way prior to them making it public, as I understand would be standard protocol to do. It's not, actually. Um, I had been on the phone with uh, the FBI. <laughs> I mean, anyone can call the FBI. <laughs> I had been on the phone with the FBI just a couple of days prior, and was while I told them that Suspect 1 had just been arrested or was in extradition process to Florida, I was not aware he made this threat, nor did I know I would be named in the indictment at all. Why did Seminole Sheriff's Office choose to do this to me? Okay, she's getting boring. Just crying. Cry more. You got those fucking... You got those big-ass catcher mitt hands. You can cry all day. Fill up that giant bowl. Of brown flesh. Brown flesh hand bowl. Oh, hold up. Let me find something real quick. Fuck, what was his name? Dude, this Google search is so fucking bad now. Oh, here we go. Here's what I'm looking for. This is the good stuff. Look, by the way, I searched Tommy Tudor and look what I find. <laughs> okay, here. Let's skip. I want to skip past him eating. This is a super old clip, but oh, fuck me. Super old clip. If you've not followed this stream very long. Is this not the part where he actually gets hung up on? Do you like clip this out? No, wait, this is right. Pardon me? Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, are you, are you talking about a local bar association? That ain't happening. I'm looking. Are, are you sending me the. No, it's not. Yeah, no, I'm, not. I'm not a stir either, please. You're not a what? I'm not a sir. I'm not male. Sorry about the deep voice. Oh, I also thought well, I had no, one too, so I don't, don't Yeah, that. don't worry about it. I'm trans. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm trans, so I'm not. I, I, I'm used to it because you look at me from the wrong okay. angle, and I look like a guy too. Oh, okay. I do. I do apologize. No, no, no need. Thought. No need. No need. Thanks <laughs> for like moving through it smoothly. Okay, well, when we hang up, you should have a text message. Cool. And hopefully, they'll be able to help you, okay? Cool. Well, good luck. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's see what the text message is. Maybe I'll go. Uh, call this isn't the right video. Is this it? Ooh, this might be it. Oh, no, this is like 15 minutes long. No, this might be it. This isn't in their business. Uh, organized uh, targeted harassment. They are posting defamatory stick stickers with my image on them all over the world right now. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, they posted pictures of them in uh, Iceland and Bolivia today. And they claim to be making money from it, and I've been after them for to license this for 10 years. I'm offering them $50 a month to just give me $50 a month, and I'll turn my back on the whole thing, and they refuse. They laugh at me. All right, well, all I want to do is I'll get some fresh test your prior ports. So I'm going to get contact with you and me. Thanks, you too. And into the circular basket it goes. This also isn't it. Maybe it's in the stream. Sorry, I'm going to try one more time. And if I can't find it in the stream itself. Let's see. It says early life stuff. So I'm talking about fucking dogs, I'm pretty sure. This is the full one. God, I can't believe this stream was three hours long. Ooh, this is it. I wish to make a complaint. Of, uh, and as 
Oh, the God, this is vintage content, Joe. A conspiracy uh, for organized cyberbullying for fun and profit. Three individuals and two companies. Okay. <laughs> the ringleader is a ring knocker from the uh, Air Force Academy by the name of Tom Madeira, M E D A R A. Let's skip ahead. Make arrangements to either. Uh, to, to at least interrogate this man. He wants to have a meeting on the ground. Did you call the local police? Oh, yeah, and, and I'm waiting for a call back on them, but I'm not holding my breath on anybody, boss. Boss. Right. Uh, do, do you have a reference number for this call, sir? I do not. What the fuck kind of transparency does our government have anymore? you just flushing this down the toilet, son. Good luck on the last day. Fucking FBI not doing what I want, God damn it. Dude, that's me when I talk to any government employee. What the fuck do you mean the park's closed today, you piece of shit? What kind of fucking transparency? Good luck on the last day, ranger. Bam! Smash that shit on the ground. Fuck you. <laughs> Very relatable. Um, anyways, that's what I was thinking of when I was thinking of, like, Jackie Singh, like, imp impotently screeching at the FBI. What do you mean he didn't tell me? He sucks. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!